In this video, we'll be learning about retroviruses and how and how they infect a host cell. Retroviruses first attach to the host cell membrane and then enter the host cell, where they then undergo reverse transcription via the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which um which converts their RNA which converts their RNA um, um, genetic makeup into DNA. And so then this DNA integrates then into the host's, into the host's DNA. And so then when it, the host DNA undergoes transcription and translation to make proteins, so does the retrovirus DNA. And so then this is how it is able to produce more retroviruses to um, become released and, and um, infect more host cells. And so after it creates proteins, it assembles um, into a retrovirus like, a, like, like here. And then um, interestingly, interestingly um, when, it, when it buds out of the host cell, it actually takes the um, the member, the, now the membrane of the of the retrovirus is the is the membrane was the membrane of the host cell. So it utilizes the host cell's membrane as its membrane as it escapes. So this is kind of what makes um this is kind of what makes this this virus interesting is that it takes. The host cell's membrane as its own as it's leaving the host cell. And um, an interesting kind of fact is that um, the reason that HIV is so difficult to treat is because it undergoes mutations, and when it under and when it undergoes mutations, like when it integrates into here, it's difficult for um, any kind of medicine that's made up for it to treat it because you can't target that specific strain because it's changed and it's changing so rapidly that kind of modern medicine can't keep up with it. Anyways, um I hope this video has been very informative on how retrovirus on the on how the retrovirus life cycle works. And if you have any questions, um leave a comment below and don't for, never um don't forget never stop learning. Peace out.